Hi, hello. I'm uh, Gili Lutovic. I'm the founder of Emotiplay. The initiation for Emotiplay came from the European community. They established a consortium of the leading universities in Europe. Karolinska in Sweden, where they are giving the Nobel Prizes, Cambridge in UK, and Barilan in Israel. The idea of the consortium was to find out what is the major problem for people with autism and how they can help them and integrate them into society. When they started the research in these universities, uh, it was more than 10 years ago, they were talking about 1.6% of the population worldwide that are on the spectrum of autism. Now they are talking about more than 2% and it's growing, this number. The main problem, as the research talked about, is that the problem to understand, recognize and express emotions. The leader of this uh, research was Professor Simon Baron Cohn, who was considered like the guru, or the, I would say the Einstein of, uh, of the autism. And they uh, choose a multiplay, our um, company, to develop the research into a program that will not stay only on the shelf, but the idea that it will help children and adults to understand and recognize and express emotions. So we developed the program together with these uh, universities and the research. It took uh, a few years to develop the program. Then there were uh, clinical uh, research that were done in UK, Israel and Sweden, and later also in Brazil with amazing results showing that after 10 weeks of using a multiply children on the spectrum of autism were able to express and of course before recognize uh, emotions this is a very powerful program a multiply with a lot of uh, capabilities it's with videos with activities and, and other uh, things that you are doing with this program so how we are uh, recognize emotions when we are looking about and on another person on his there is more than 300 pieces i would say in our face that uh, uh, show emotions so when i'm smiling you know there there is um the the mouth is changing the eyes is changing the cheeks is changing for uh, people with autism it's difficult to read all these signs but also there is the voice i can tell you wow i'm happy to see you and I can tell you, I'm happy to see you. For people with autism, this is the same. Even if in the other option, I was sarcastic, they will say, okay, he is happy to see me. So the tone of the voice is also very important for, for recognize and express emotions. The other thing is the body. The body is difficult for almost every person. You know, the body gestures, the movement that I'm doing, where I'm putting my hands, where I, uh, the chest, uh, uh, how I'm standing, how I'm walking even. So all this together for uh, people without autism, it's, it's, I would say that it's put it on, their, on the hardware. It's embedded in the hardware. But for children with autism, they need to learn it. So through a multiplay, people can practice uh, how to understand and recognize emotions. And this is so important because children with autism, most of them are bright, amazing, sweet kids. And they want to have friends and they want to be part of society. When a child with autism go to a kindergarten, he wants to play with other kids. But if he don't understand the situation of another kid, if he don't understand that the other kid is now suffering or he's sad or he's boring and he don't want to play with you and you coming and play with him and jumping up and down and he, you will be rejected the sad story with with the children with autism is that they are trying and trying and trying and eventually they are giving up the moment they are giving up they become isolated they're developing other problems of anxiety and um, depression and it's lead to many many other problems so if from a very early age there is ability to teach uh, the children with autism how to recognize and express emotion this is a life-changing and uh, we got letters from um, um, parents that their children were in uh, that they were in the pilot that so many letters 
one letter is from a mother that saying that her child was coming many times from school, uh, begging his head on the walls, screaming. She couldn't know what's happening to him. After being part of this uh, pilot of a multiplay, he came and say, Mommy Sami bullied me in school. So why he was begging his head on the walls? Because he was frustrated from not understanding the emotions, what frustrating from unable to express his emotions and unable to understand the social situation. Uh, the moment you can understand emotions and express emotions, this is a big leap up, jump start to, to life because you can be part of society. You can have friends. Later, you can date with girls or girls can date with, with boys, which is always a challenge. But if you don't understand the other person's emotions, it's very, very difficult. So a multiplay through the program and through the, the, all the, the activities, it's really amazing what this program can do with the life of children and even adults with autism. Because the target audience was first children, but we learned that also adults can use the program and, and really uh, learn, enjoy and benefit so much from it. So I encourage everybody to go to emotiplay.com and uh, there, it's a free trial. You can, you can use it and, and, and learn. I'm thankful for this interview and uh, hope you, you understand the program and I'm willing to answer any questions if needed. The main purpose of uh, a multiplay is to help children to become part of society so they can have friends, they can have uh, later ages, they can have uh, spouses and, and uh, get married and, and live in society like all other people. And uh, the main way to do it is by helping them to understand other people and mainly to understand emotions. So this is the purpose of a multiplay, to teach people on the spectrum how to recognize, understand, and express emotions through the voice, the body, and the face. Actually, there is no other program in the world right now that using all the elements of the face, the tone of the voice, and the body to show and express and teach about emotions. My colleague uh, in a multiplay, his son was uh, recognized with uh, autism and diagnosed while he was uh, three years old. Uh, the parents invested a lot to help him and uh, he was taken care by uh, the leader in this field in Israel, Professor Ofer Golan. And uh, Ofer Golan helped him a lot, especially with his emotions and uh, how to recognize emotions. I can tell you that this boy is now uh, about uh, almost 20 and he you will not recognize any, any problem with him. He has a girlfriend, he's, uh, he's uh, even serving in the army in Israel, which is a challenge for every person, not just for people with autism and which is amazing. He is living normal life and uh, we have the motivation in the multiplayer to help other kids. Professor Ofer Golain, while he was taking care of uh, this boy, he came to us and say, okay, there is a consortium of the uh, leading universities in Europe, and I want you to join these forces to help children with autism. For me, personally, this child that is the son of my colleague is like my son. I know him so, all his life. So to help him and to help other kids, this is a great motivation for us. And we saw with the multiplayer that so many children were blessed through it. Uh, the letter that I got from a, from a mother saying that she was driving the car in London with her son sitting on the back. He was nine years old and he said to, to her, Mommy, I love you. After being 10 weeks part of the pilot that we are doing with the multiplayer in, in UK, she said to us, she wrote to us, I pulled over and started to cry because he never told me that he loved me. He didn't show any emotion until he used the multiplay. The easiest way to find a multiplay is online. You can go to www.emotiplay.com and there is a free trial for everyone. You can use it for, uh, for a while and see if it fits to your needs. 
and then you can do a subscription. It's already translated to Hebrew, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. So you can use it in any language, any of these languages. There is also, if you are clinics, you, you can uh, go to mundopato.com. It's our distributor in the US and uh, uh, purchase the program through them with all the needs for a clinic. So I want to thank uh, Professor uh, Ofer Golan from bar -Ilan University. I want to thank uh, Professor Sven Bolt from uh, Karolinska University and Professor Simon Baron Cohen from uh, Cambridge University for uh, helping us and working with us to develop this uh, amazing project, a multiplay. I want to thank all the families that participated in the clinical test in UK, Sweden, Israel and Brazil. I want to thank mainly the children that use this program and I want that everyone who can just go to uh, emotiplay.com and use it and I hope it will be a life changing for all of you. Thank you so much.